Now, certainly when it comes to the WWE pay-per-views or premium live events, whatever the hell you want to call them nowadays, Royal Rumble's traditionally been one of the big four. Royal Rumble's been one of the most popular because, you know, it's got kind of a unique concept in relation to other WWE pay-per-views. It also serves as that real start to the WrestleMania season. It's a big deal, right? Like, even back in the days when people were still spending $50 plus for a pay-per-view, you know, the most people would buy WrestleMania, and then typically the second most people would buy the Royal Rumble. As you're looking to see who's up next, you know, it's getting you in the mode for WrestleMania, da-da-da-da-da. Um, so typically the Rumble is exciting, but this year I kind of find myself like, eh. Eh. Right? And maybe part of this is I'm feeling some sense of dread in terms of what I think could be happening at WrestleMania. That could certainly be it, right? Um, but it does leave me wondering, who should win the 2024 Royal Rumble? And now, of course, since we're talking about the Royal Rumble, there's a men's and a women's match, so we got to be equal opportunity. we got to talk about both of these jokers. I'll talk about the women's one first. It certainly seems like in my opinion, we're pointing towards a Bianca Belair Rumble win. Now, maybe stuff could change in the next couple of months, but I could certainly see WWE wanting to go into WrestleMania 40 and having like a powerhouse versus powerhouse match, Bianca Belair versus Rhea Ripley. I could see that. It wasn't exactly... I don't even know. Like, it would be... Rhea's finally got a quality, credible challenger. So, yeah, and they probably could go and tear the house down. So, but then it's also one of those things you look at, you know, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, no offense, but ain't no way in fuck that's main eventing night one or night two of WrestleMania this year. Ain't no goddamn way. So, it almost feels like kind of a waste of a match for those two. When you're looking relative to the women on the roster and everything else, like those two probably should be main eventing a night of WrestleMania. Ain't happening this year or next year, however the hell you want to look at it. Now, to me, I would sit there and you'll say, hey, like, why wouldn't we put Jade Cargill in this spot? Try and smash her over. But it seems like WWE is hesitant to do so because they realize when they signed her, like, yeah, she's got some some talent. She's got certainly some potential. She's unique. But AEW didn't teach her shit. No big surprise there. <laughs> That's all I'll say, right? Um, she got some work to do. It would be better, in my opinion, if they set it up for her to win the Rumble. But they're probably going to do some shit like her and Charlotte at Mania. Or they might not even have a Mania match for Jade Cargill at this point, which would be feel kind of weird how much they've hyped her up. But yeah, like right now to me, it seems like it's barreling down. Unless you're saying you're going to have Bailey win, complete the split of the damage control, I guess. Maybe have Sasha Banks come back, I guess. But still then... Ain't no way in hell at this point, the way it looks, that any women's match configuration combination is going to main event night one of Mania. So how much do you really care this time? Just saying. So we look at the men. And, you know, this is the type of event, type of moment, where it should be about somebody like L.A. Knight, but he's an afterthought at this point. Ain't no way I can see, and I mean no fucking way I can see that he's winning this Royal Rumble. I don't even know what his clear path is to a WrestleMania match at this point. The Viper's back, certainly as hell is, but this isn't his year to win the Rumble. He's got bigger things to fry come WrestleMania 40. If you can see what I'm getting at. And any of you cocksuckers that say you don't want it. No, 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 no. You not only want it, you need it. You know you've got to fucking have it. 
It's John Cena versus Randy Orton WrestleMania 40. Once in a lifetime, this time it counts. How the fuck could you say no to that one? So many awesome things that they could do in the build up to this shit. I'm not giving up the dream, damn it. I've been asking for this for a damn decade. John Cena, Randy Orton, WrestleMania. The only way, the only way this shit would work is technically if Orton was at as a 16-time champion and John Cena won the Rumble to challenge him at Mania. Now that's fucking box office. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I, I... As happy as people are to have the Viper back, I don't know that he's going to win the Rumble. And again, he's got bigger fish to fry. Do, 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 do. Which then brings us to Cody Cena. I mean, Cody Rhodes. And I'm sorry, they cannot have him fucking win this Rumble this time. If they do, he's not beating the Cena allegations. He's fully living up to the Cena allegations. And it easily transcends from being a push to a force. Period. Period. And you're going to say, well, dude, Austin won the Rumble back-to-back -back years. Cody Rhodes is not Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm just saying. Finish the story. Finish the story. I know they're heading down this inevitably at WrestleMania 40, and I'm going to have to live with it, which probably means I'll take a break from watching wrestling after WrestleMania 40. Oh, newsflash, that could happen. Because I don't want to watch that fucking lame ass be world champion you're fucking kidding me oh god i can't even imagine like that's how f low the bar is fucking dropped but you know i gotta face reality it's most likely going to happen because ain't no way in hell at this point i could see the rock's gonna come out and win the rumble now you know you're talking about wrestlemania 40 you want to go for big and epic like that would be fucking big and epic rock and roman in philly going back to what happened many years ago at the rumble in philly like, talk about telling a story, you know, who is the real tribal chief? Infinitely more interesting story than Cody Rhodes trying to beat Roman Reigns full fucking stop. You, get, you damn good and well know it is. But it's not happening. So i got to come down to reality, right? You know, re honestly, <laughs> you know, in terms of the story, like, fuck Cody Rhodes and his stupid finish this story. It's so fucking dumb. Like, the whole premise is stupid. Now you talk about finish the story. Finish the story is Jay Uso winning the damn rumble. But we know that's not fucking happening, nor should it fucking happen. But if they do Cody again, fuck them. I'm assuming right now that it's going to be CM Punk. Like CM Punk did a lot in WWE, but what did he never do? A couple of things. One of them includes win the Royal Rumble. Yes, he was a back-to-back -back year Money in the Bank winner at 24 and 25, but he never won the Rumble, so that's something you can still have. He also never main-evented a WrestleMania, and while, yes, it's two nights instead of one night, still, it's a main event is a main event is a main event. They've got that dangling out there, and right now, to me, that's the most interesting and compelling option by far is to have him win the Rumble because at least you could play out the string a little bit. We know they would send him down the path of Seth Rollins and that shit could really work, right? Especially if he gets Seth Rollins to be a little less caricature and a little more serious grown man. But there's always that piece of CM Punk could challenge Roman. We know they're not going to go there no matter how much the crowd would fucking eat that up, no matter how much the goddamn crowd would want it. They're going to give CM Punk the night one Mania main event slot, it seems like at this point, taking on Seth Rollins, if they have any patience at all. You know, at this moment, CM Punk should win the Royal Rumble. I guess, right? Like, it feels like the best option, but it's still not something that excites you. And what's so fucked up about this is the WWE's had a couple of years to prepare for the next guy to take the mantle from and usurp Roman Reigns' spot at the top. 
and they're going to instead waste that on somebody that's the same fucking age, basically, in Cody Rhodes. Instead of finding somebody like a Braun Breaker or somebody else that's saying WrestleMania 40 is going to be their moment, and this is when you're looking to crown the next generation, focus on the next fucking decade. Oh, but Triple H is a booking genius. Ah, fuck this shit. So who should win the women's rumble? I guess it's Bianca Miller. I don't, again, I don't know that it really matters because we're not going to care that much. We're just not. And as far as the men's rumble, fucking any of the other options that I named other than Cody Rhodes would be better at this point. 